हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर श्रीकांत भावसे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एडवांस मैनेजमेंट स्टडीज जी एस कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स वर्धा इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द वैल्युएशन ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर नाउ टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द फर्स्ट मेथड ऑफ वैल्युएशन ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर as we all know that the valuation of equity is a very complex process because we never know that what will be the growth of the company as well as we also do not know the risk associated with the equity shares but because of there are a number of factors associated with it there are also different models there are also different types of numericals and the things which are driven by the different economist and financial analyst one of them is the dividend discount model the dividend discount model is one of the most widely accepted model by the economist and by the financial analyst for ascertaining the value of equity share so there are two main assumptions of dividend discount model the first assumption is that the dividends are paid annually it means that it will consider only those stocks and companies which are giving the dividends on an annual basis means once in an year if the company is giving an interim dividend or if the company is giving multiple dividends at regular interval of time within an year this model will not be work there and the second assumption is that first dividend is paid when an investor bought share and after it holds for one year so this is the second assumption on the basis of these two assumptions the formula for the dividend discount model is present value of expected dividend that how much dividend the investor is expecting is in terms of its present value suppose an investor is expecting a dividend of 10% on the face value of 10 rupees it means that it is expecting that the investor will get 1 rupees that is 10% of 10 rupees plus present value of the sale price expected when share is sold if the investor is going to sell his shares at the current market price how much amount and how much price he or she is getting when he or she sells his shares in the market so the formula is very easy that is present value of expected dividend how much dividend the investor is expecting at the current market price plus present value when he or she is selling his share in the market so now we will see the single period valuation method it means that if an investor is holding his share for complete one year then we will apply the single period valuation method now for this single period valuation method the formula is very simple that is price of equity share p0 is equal to d1 divided by 1 plus r plus p1 divided by 1 plus r here p0 is the cmp of share means current market price of that particular share which the investor is going to buy or the investor is holding for complete one year d1 means the dividend expected in one year p1 is the price of share expected in one year 
R is equal to rate of return required by the investor. Now, how to keep this in mind? That is P means price, T means dividend, P1 means expected price in one year and R means rate of return. So, this is the simple formula D1 divided by 1 plus R plus P1 divided by 1 plus R. Now, we will see the simple example of this single thread valuation method by which we can make it very simple. So, XYZ limited expected dividend is rupees 2 per share. So, here D1 is the 2 rupees per share that XYZ limited may give the dividend of rupees 2 per share. Then expected price in one year is equal to 18 rupees per share. It means that the price of XYZ limited will be 18 rupees per share in an year and investors required rate of return is 12 percent. Suppose investors are anticipating that they should get the 12 percent return on their investment. So the simple solution here will be the current market price P0 is equal to now we will put these values in this simple formula D1 is rupees 2 per share so 2 divided by 1 plus R so 1 plus R means required rate of return that is 12 percent 1 plus 12 percent plus P1 divided by 1 plus R P1 means price of share expected in one year that is 18 rupees per share. So 18 divided by again 1 plus R means 1 plus 12 percent. So we will simply calculate these things 2 divided by 1 plus 1 2 percent 1 plus 12 percent means 1.12 plus 18 divided by again 1 plus 12 percent means 1.12. So, 2 divided by 1.12 plus 18 divided by 1.12. So, here the sum will be 17 rupees and 86 paisa per share. So, this is the simple calculation when we put the value in this formula. We have got the price of XYZ limited. Now, what if the price grows? with respect to g percent that the growth we do not know how much it will grow. So if a price of equity share is expected to grow at a rate of g percent annually then we will replace the p0 by the p01 plus g per year. So p0 we will put the p01 plus g besides using the P1 because here we do not know the P1. So, P0 is equal to D1 divided by 1 plus R. It will be as it is plus here instead of writing this P1, we will write P0 1 plus G divided by 1 plus R as it is. What we have done? We have just replaced this P1 value with the P0 1 plus G because the stock is expected to grow at G rate of percent. So, P0 is equal to, we will solve this formula, D1, the base is 1 plus R is common. So, D1 plus P0, 1 plus G, base is common, so it will become 1 plus R. P0 is equal to D1 plus P0, 1 plus G divided by 1 plus R. Now, we will take this denominator to here P0 1 plus R, then it will become D1 plus P0 1 plus G. Now, while solving it, what we will do? This P0 1 plus R will deduct from right side P0 1 plus G will go to the left side, from plus it will go to the minus then P0 1 plus R minus P0 1 plus G and is equal to D1. So, again 
the one and one will get cancelled. P zero R minus G is equal to D one. So this will be the answer. Now we have to calculate the price. That is P zero. What we will do? P zero will be here, and the R minus G bracket will go to the right hand side. So P zero is equal to D one divided by R minus G. So this is the simple formula. By using this formula, we can calculate the expected price of share. So we have discussed the single period valuation method and how to calculate the numerical on the basis of this formula and what if the rate is growing at g percent then again p0 is equal to d1 divided by r minus g is the formula for calculating with respect to g percent growth per annum in the coming video we are going to study the next method of valuation of equity share thank you